Welcome back to the Celtic Farm and our no-till gardening series. This is Master Gardener Steve and in our first episode we introduced the basics of no-till gardening and how it mimics nature. Today we're diving into composting for no-till gardens. High quality compost is essential to nourish our soil and keep your garden thriving. Let's explore why composting is a core practice in no-till gardening and some of the best techniques for making rich compost including hot composting, cold composting, and using green manure. Composting is critical for a successful no-till garden because it builds soil health from the top down, just like nature does. In a no-till system, we rely on layers of compost to feed the soil, introduce beneficial microbes, and improve the soil structure without disturbing its natural layers. By regularly adding compost, we create rich, fertile soil in an environment that supports plant growth and soil life. Hot composting is a great way to create nutrient-rich compost quickly. It's ideal if you need compost for your garden soon. This method requires balancing materials, keeping the pile moist, and turning it regularly to maintain high temperatures. To create a hot compost pile, start with a mix of green materials like fresh grass clippings and kitchen scraps, and brown materials like leaves and straw. Aim for a one-to-one -one ratio and make sure each layer is moist. You'll want to check the temperature with a thermometer to make sure it's heating up, ideally between 130 and 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Every few days, turn the pile to keep it aerated and maintain the high temperature. And in, in about a few weeks, you'll have fully decomposed, nutrient-dense compost ready to add to your garden beds. Now let's talk about cold composting. Unlike hot composting, cold composting is a slow and steady process. It's perfect if you want a low maintenance composting method and don't mind waiting a bit longer. In cold composting, you layer organic materials over time and simply let them decompose naturally. You don't need to turn the pile or monitor the temperature as you do with hot composting. Just keep the pile moist and cover it with a tarp or straw to retain moisture. Cold composting takes anywhere from six months to a year but the end result is rich, dark compost that's full of beneficial microbes. This compost is ideal for no-dig gardening because it feeds the soil slowly, allowing the natural ecosystem to thrive without any interruption. For no-dig gardens, green manure is another fantastic option. Green manure involves growing plants specifically to add organic matter and nutrients to the soil. Once they've grown, you cut them down and leave them on the soil to decompose naturally, acting as a green mulch. Common green manure crops include clover, vetch, peas, and rye. These plants not only add organic material, but also fix nitrogen into the soil, enriching it for future crops. When your green manure reaches its peak, usually right before it sets seed, cut it down and leave it on the bed as that natural mulch. It's a fantastic way to make your soil hum and add to your no-dig garden without any disturbance to the soil structure. Each composting method offers unique benefits and by incorporating compost into your no-till garden, you're building soil health that's long-lasting and sustainable. Composting is an essential for thriving no-dig garden. By feeding the soil with nutrient-rich organic matter, you're creating a resilient environment that supports plant growth, retains moisture, and encourages beneficial soil life. So whether you choose hot composting, cold composting, or green manure, or a combination of the three, adding compost is a foundation of a healthy no-till system. In our next episode, we'll explore how to plant directly into your no-dig bed, including tips for spacing, layering, and planting techniques. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to follow the rest of our no-till gardening journey.